Police announced tonight they arrested a juvenile in connection to her death. Her body was found yesterday morning off a walking trail in Chippewa Falls. Today, her aunt's home, where she was last seen, was searched and blocked off with police tape. It's just half a mile from where her body was found. Jennifer Hoff is live tonight with what we are learning from investigators and neighbors. Jennifer. Randy, the police chief would not describe that suspect at all, only saying the suspect is no stranger to the little girl and the suspect is in fact in custody. The chief also saying after several days of being vigilant here, the people who live here, the public is no longer in any danger. After about 70 officers worked this case just today to help make that arrest right here in the city. It's a place neighbors say they wouldn't expect to see this. Police coming and going from the White House on the corner of Willow and North Grove. I was like, holy, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was really taken back. With them, bags of evidence. It eventually wrapped in crime scene tape. It's sad. It makes me just really want to cry. Care 11 confirmed the house is Lily Peters' aunt's, the last place the 10-year-old was seen alive. She didn't come home Sunday night. Her bicycle and her body found nearby along this walking trail the next morning. Police calling the crime a homicide. There's really no words for how, how horrific this is. It rocking the town of Chippewa Falls, 100 miles east of Minneapolis. Residents tying ribbons there for the little girl whose favorite color was purple. We do not believe there is any danger to the community. The police chief announcing Tuesday the arrest of whom he calls a juvenile 33 hours after Lily's body was found, saying only the suspect was not a stranger to her and some 200 tips had been called in. Well, nothing will bring Lily Peters back or change what happened. We are very grateful to be able to deliver this news for the family and for the community. Some answers for a town still full of questions as the investigation continues, and so too does remembering Lily. Always a smile on her face, yeah. always, happy. always happy. I feel bad her life is just taken way too soon and the chief says that the district attorney has also been a part of this investigation and also would not comment, though, on what charges, if any, the suspect might face in this case. We also know that uh, the chief, after the search warrant was executed at that home at Lily's aunt's house, there was a lot more evidence uh, that was collected as well as interviews conducted. The chief saying this is still a very active investigation and certainly one will continue to follow. Back to you. All right, Jennifer, thank you.